good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Dima, I don't piano music. So guys, Hafiz has been on a tour of sorts, going to different podcasts to spew out his ideas. First of all, uh, we saw him on the Valuetainment Money podcast with a few other people in which he hogged the mic saying absolutely nothing in my honest opinion uh but his interactions with coach greg adams uh it was interesting it was priceless and in that particular ordeal i did a reaction to that coach greg adams didn't say a lot and hafiz said so much more still got cooked okay and that's what hafiz does he's kind of like a uh, a boxer who throws a lot of punches and doesn't land any and he just gets hits with clear body shots and, you know, shots to the face and he gets knocked out. Um, and that also happened with the Just Pearly Things. Uh, now, she's a burgeoning content creator here in the, in the Red Pill space, has a wonderful podcast. Shout outs to her. And um, and quite interestingly enough, Obsidian uh, pointed out the fact that she's only 25 years old. Hafiz is 32. And not only did she demolish him in their debates and things that they had on the podcast and i won't go into that because it's not so much important today i just want you to see um how rude he is towards her right now i'll play a few clips and how he has a hard time um understanding ideas and understanding other people's ideologies and comprehending and responding we'll play that yeah. When you're able to do stuff like mm -hmm. that, you're you're not familiar with my cons. I don't really give advice, but okay. I know, ahead. but go ahead. Go ahead. I, you said wife school. Yeah, yeah, but it's not taught by me. Huh? It's not taught by me. Who's gonna build a wife school? No, no, I'll put this is see if you give let me give the elevator. Go ahead, please, before you please, critique please, the please, idea. Please, please. So that's what I was thinking. I was like, I think you can do both. And maybe maybe you feel like it can only be one no. maybe maybe Stop maybe can, can you can you let Go me, ahead. you keep Go cutting ahead. me off. It's my I'm channel. Sorry. It's, your, you it's actually off. my channel today. It's, it's my it's channel not, today. It's not like, and it's, it's like, I, 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 I think you can be entertaining and helpful at the same time. I just 100%. think, I just think. So guys, here's the issue with Hafiz. There's, there's two things. The, the, the second is going to be a little bit more um, offensive and I'll try to be as nice as I can. The, the first thing about Hafiz is that he came on the roommate's show. Okay. Now, if you remember the roommates, the roommates was not a podcast about men at all. Okay. The roommates were trying to, you know, um, you know, interview people that were, you know, let's say for example, like Candace Owens, Jordan Peterson, people like that. That's kind of really kind of where it started. And then also people that were non-black, right. And, and things like that. But, but what ended up happening was once COVID came about, it seems like um, this kind of changed a little bit. So then they they went into some of what you would consider the red pill influencers. And I don't give a damn what you say. If you don't think that Kevin Samuels was from the manosphere or from the red pill communities, despite whatever he said, that's not true. That's what Kevin Samuels comes from. In my experience, one disagreement I'll ever have. He may have tried to go away from it, but they went after guys like, alpha male strategies purposely they went after guys like stephas cole purposely why because these guys have followings of men and pretty much it can we just be honest the roommates th those guys are not that good i'm just going to be honest like look at them when they're by themselves nobody nobody really listens to them okay so they're not that am honest opinion, they're not a, a, a strong team meaning that because they're not a strong team Without the grifting, nobody will listen to them or watch them. And if you don't believe me, look at some of their views. Let's look at this. The Christian way of becoming the superior man. 2,800 views. You have a 528,000 you know, subscribers. Um, you have this. Ladies, man, would you respect this man or whatever? That's uh, Ladies, would you respect this man? That's 5,000 views with a channel of 528,000 people, which means that nobody really cares what they have to say. It is my honest opinion that Hafiz is not the most... In the way he presents his argument, he's not the most intelligent person. Can, can I say that? I believe that he sounds or attempts to sound more smarter than what he can actually relay in his ideas. And I, I, will, I will say this. And the reason why um, Hafiz is getting defeated in these debates, it's not because he's like 
it, it, part of that is grifting, in my opinion, because he's trying to rebrand, which Obsidian said. Hafiz just doesn't have the uh, ability to maintain himself intellectually with people. That's the it, that's the real issue. We don't want to call it what it is, but it's what it is. I've listened to the guy. I've listened to how he enunciates his words. I listen to how he, you know, puts his ideas together, how he procures them. Um, Hafiz is not, he's, he's not a very, he's, he's not a thinker. That's no disrespect to him. It's just what you can see. He gets upset clearly with people to the point that just pearly things felt somewhat insulted. It had to remind him that, you know, that he, that he's on her show. He's also very socially awkward. I'm going to play this socially awkward clip right now. And you can hear what I'm talking about. I was just going to say that I think it's more having like a father presence in our lives. Most of us. What about your so, mom? Um, what do you mean? What about my mom? Do you have a motherly presence as well? Yeah, yeah I do. Shout out, Jen. <laughs> you calling your mom by your first name? What are you doing, girl? Yeah, yeah. Shout no out, Jen. respect. That's a white girl stuff. Why you calling mama Jen? Girl, what the heck? <laughs> so, so there you go. Like you hear that 30 seconds. He's like a socially awkward guy. So combine socially awkward with, in my opinion, not being the most intellectual or intelligent person in the world. And you get a, a person who can't express their ideas. They feel that they need a bully to over talk people. And that results in many, many losses and debates. Now he may be very good at interviewing people, which is probably what he should stick to. Should definitely stick to interviewing people and not debating him people because debating requires that you can actually respond which he can't do and that's the, that's the thing he's smart enough to come on to social media and try to make some money off of this and grift but that's why they don't have a strong audience try to sell courses then try to pivot and try to sell to the people that and, and that's why his audience is what it is you know what, what they subscribed to is not what he's giving them right now because well he's not <laughs> again am i in my ability, in my my own opinion, uh, intelligent to, to under, enough to understand that that the people that subscribe to you for one thing, you have now switched, and that's why your viewership is down. On top of the fact that you and the gentleman you're in the podcast with are not very good without somebody else being there. And then let's add insult to injury if we can by saying that you're just not able to put out your ideas very well, and people don't have to say very much to counter what you're saying and still easily defeat you within your own arguments. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again for another episode of The Celebrity Jump. I appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe, hit the bell. We're out. Yeah, yeah.